mean, I don't know about the kitty cats. I might just give them to my fucking son's girlfriend. She'll love these. I'll give them to her. Because they're a bit, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll give them to her. God bless her. She'll love them. Right. So we have uh, that there. Who thinks that's a great idea, darling? I'll affect people. I'll affect people so much, darling. I like all the twists and turns, darling. Because I tell you what, if I was in that house, they'll all shut up, sweetheart. I tell you that for sure. What are you gonna start chatting now, darling? Let's go. And let's see how battered you look in real life, coming like some battered fish, darling. Yeah, absolutely, darling. So I don't mind going in there, darling. I'm a gorgeous bitch, darling. Natural. Wake up in the morning looking fresh. Ooh, I'm not insecure. You know, I'm always eating. <laughs> absolutely love to eat, darling. But I wouldn't drink, so there'll be no drinking. Probably have the odd cigarette and vapes. But there'll be no drugs in there. Anyone smoking weed, so she won't be able to last two minutes in there because she's a weed smoker. So you're not allowed to smoke drugs in the big brother house, uh, just to let you know. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if you thought about that one. Or have you got gummies that you brought back from America, sweetheart? Oh, darling, call the police, darling. She's got drugs, drugs in the house. Um, trafficking drugs from america to the uk um so yeah i was just thinking about that one you wouldn't last two minutes darling that one will be out within 24 hours especially if i turn up there <laughs> probably sitting there going bah, 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 bah. what do i do next to her bah. Do you know what I mean? 2.3k. Oh, oh, I'm gonna just sat on my dusty gaming chair. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh darling. <laughs> she looks scared. She will be fucking scared, darling. Nostrils, the amount of fans I've got. Mm, mm, mm. Imagine saying that you'll find someone's address out to go and kidnap their kid. How disgusting is that? I've got the screen recording. It's a telco assassin. I've got her back, sweetheart. To say something like that is so fucking disgusting. And it's disgusting. Who would say that? Did you see it? Oh, mate, how nasty is that to even talk about kids? You're a sicko in the head. Oh, you're definitely hiding something. I wonder what that is. Was it the 15 year old you used to hang around with? Sick, but I suppose you'll all get uh, let her get away with it, innit? Because that's what you do, you don't give a shit, do you? You don't go and report her for nothing, bad she says. She was the one that reported me, don't forget. There we go, sweetheart. She was the one and got her people to mass report me. I've got all the evidence. Absolutely. Yeah, but I would never say things like that. Yeah, I might say other stuff, but I don't ever talk about kids, do I? Have you noticed? Never. No one speaks about kids on here. Go and, let, go and get the video and tag me in it, I beg you. Fucking liars. <laughs> Thank you, Dazzling Diamonds. I've never said nothing. I'm more interested, yeah. So I was just thinking, get in that big brother house. She won't last two minutes because she's a pothead. <gasps> Can't live without a J. <sighs> Not a boss bitch like me that can go fucking three weeks without it. <laughs> so I'm ready to go, darling. Yes, we'll have all the drama, darling. I'll just do it to affect them all. <sighs> Put me in as a surprise guest, darling. <laughs> 
when they're all settled in and cosy wosy. But the thing is, I'll be turning up with fucking hench security from London. Modine's people, marketing, he'll be with me. Oh. Because I couldn't afford to pay him. <laughs> it's probably going to be the most professional manager in the whole fucking event. But it might be like, I love this place, let's go. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Who are they getting in there? That mouthy Pearl. Get her in there as well. What are you going to do? Knock me out, Pearl. She'll probably be my best friend in real life. She'll be like, oh, Chelsea, you're so pretty. I'll be like, at least I don't look like a washed out handbag, sweetheart. Absolutely. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd invest in a bit of Botox if I was you, sweetheart. Um, about your, I don't need to audition. I'm one of the biggest TikTokers, darling. They'd die to get me in the house, darling. You know how many people have been asking me? I've had about a thousand messages. Chelsea, 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 go in there, go in there, affect them, affect them. Oh. And me and Mo Dean went in there, would affect them all, darling. What about that? But he needs to move it to London. We can't be doing it in Leeds, darling. No one's gonna go to Leeds, it's a shit all. Communications, being intoxicated, I don't think so. I mean, if it was that bad, I would have been uh, charged already. I've not been charged. So that's put a suck in it. <laughs> Why do you think they took my phone? They're looking for evidence, darling, because they didn't have enough on the fucking whatever you fuckers sent in. But maybe it's happened for a reason because of all the trolling. So now they'll see that all the fucking death threats all the things that people have said and done and absolutely i've got nothing to hide rachie thank you sweetheart so ouch oh ouch 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 there we go darling so everything works out for a reason maybe it was worth spending them seven hours in police custody <laughs> rachie thank you thank you so much darling and i've never been done for racism so that's, that's another thing as well. So when it comes to race, she says that, absolutely not. You know, you have to get charged first. Oh, go away, you're a clout chaser. Piss off with your 100K followers. You're an absolute nobody. I'll get in the house and I'll eat you up for breakfast. Get out of here. Absolute green bean. Coming like a gerbil now, sweetheart. Your cheeks are like that. But they're like, oh. <laughs> uh, little Miss Piggy, darling. Absolutely. Because I know you love your bacon. Oh. Oink, oink. Yeah, she just got blocked anyway. See, she can't help herself. She has to come and see, she's obsessed with me. She sits there and goes, oh, if Chelsea's not live, she's watching me. You watch me every day, darling. Every fucking day, every night. Yeah, because you are obsessed. Because she's never met anyone like me in her life, darling. And I'm definitely a threat to her, darling. Because she thinks that she's bad. She's not as bad as me, so. And don't forget when you was crying and shaking on the floor when the trolls called police on us in Cornwall and you had all that weed that you brought, remember? And you were shitting yourself. Oh! So, oh. so, yeah, you're not that tough, are you, darling? Not off camera. That's why you bully everyone. Anyone that's a real G, they don't bully anyone. That's why I don't bully people. I don't need to. I'm a boss, bitch. I should be on a fake account. <laughs> oh, evil eye, darling. There's nothing evil about you. Can you imagine? Go and get at least some followers first before you start yapping, darling. I'm running up your gums, darling. Oh, darling. Yes, they are, darling. So yeah, we'll have all the drama, darling. 
very jealous, absolutely jealousy is a disease, darling. And imagine saying that, you know, you used to do bad things and you, uh, you thrive off it. There you go, I told you. So when bad things happen to you, I'm going to laugh. That went nearly when you had your car crash in it because she was arguing with that woman that you told me about, innit? Remember? And was it you that didn't have no MOT or something? Because I'm sure Zach the Brat, uh, there was a video of Zach the Brat saying that she didn't have no MOT or something or insurance when she came to the mental hospital. So you're the biggest scammer out there, you cheapskate. You can't even afford MOT on your car. What's the point in driving if you can't even pay insurance? You. I just, do you know what I mean? Cheap ass, absolute piece of bacon rash. You know what I mean? Putting people's lives at risk while you're driving on the motorway, darling, with no insurance and this, that and the other. How dangerous is that, darling? Plus you smoke weed, so you're driving and always smoking and high. So what about that, darling? Yes, darling. Driving and always smoking weed. Oh, darling, that's against the law, isn't it? Probably got a fucking kilo in there, sweetheart. She's probably got a couple of ounces. She only buys big bits. She only buys big bits. She don't just buy a little drawer like Marcus M's. No, she has fucking a brick in there, sweetheart, of it. Are you gonna hide it? What are you gonna do? You're gonna dig up your um, dusty yard or wherever it is, your garden, your neighbors, and go plant it in there, like you said on live. Make a hole and plant it. Is that what you do with your dodgy phones as well? Mm. We'll have all the security cameras, darling, for the neighbours. Oh, darling. Junkies, darling. I don't smoke. I'm smoking a cigarette. Sit there and talk about me and run me, darling. You're an absolute disgrace. You break the law every time you've been to jail, darling. For benefit fraud. You know, scamming all that money off the government, darling. And then you want to sit there and talk about other people. That's why she goes after people, you know, because all that has happened to her. So she wants to see other people suffer as well. If, if I never got away with it, then you're not going to get away with it. Do you know what I mean? Nah, darling, you can't come at me, sweetheart. Mm. If you was an innocent person, what, because you're fixing up your act now because people are watching you, darling? Because you're so broke still, it ain't no joke. You know what I mean? I make way more money than you on TikTok, sweetheart. Look how much money I've made with the UK leaderboards. Three times. Where's your business? Where's your business? Where is it? Oh, uh, stick to your plastic cups, darling, because that's what uh, you are. A piece of plastic, darling. Plastic cups, plastic this, plastic that. I'm against plastic. I'm about saving the ocean, darling. <coughs> Oh, darling, I might have plastic tits, but so what? I mean, they don't feel it, though, darling. They look natural. <laughs> so it just depends where you get them, I, you know. <laughs> oh, darling, don't like it when you get it back, do you? Oh, no. Look at all these people laughing their heads off. At least I can make my audience laugh, darling, and smile. Oh, darling, absolutely. I can be a bitch when I want to be a bitch, man. Don't ever forget that. And she'll probably come for me again. Get her little Rugrats friend, Becca, to come shout outside my house again. Oh, send the lion! Roots! Yeah, we know, darling. Uh. 
I want last two minutes in that house. You couldn't even go on holiday with DG and fucking without drama because you thought someone was being funny with you. Imagine. Oh my God. It'll be hilarious, darling. Who's this? Or oh, you wouldn't know they're not that famous. Absolute nobody. That's <laughs> why so you sit on a platform with 85,000 and I get 16,000 in less than 28 days, darling. Your views are not going up, darling. Probably get about 20 new followers, darling. Wilma, thank you. And I've had 210 gifters already, sweetheart. So let's go. <laughs> You took life and made it work in your favour and smashed it. I, I nailed it, yes. Nailed it, nailed it, smashed it. Booyaka. You are the WAP. Whoop. WAP, WAP, WAP. <laughs> uh, you smoke. I don't smoke. I can do a drugs test. I don't mind. We'll have all the drug tests. I think that's what we should do. Everyone that goes into the Big Brother house has to do a drugs test. Oh, darling. It's just going to be a bunch of alcoholics. Uh, Kathy J, darling. But at least I'm waking people up because they haven't thought about all these things that I'm saying. They haven't thought, oh, shit. When I'm stressed, I'm not even going to be able to smoke a joint. No drugs, because the moment there is, darling, there'll be police, darling, closing down the whole event. <laughs> Two can play that game, darling. Oh, oh, it's the sound of the police. Oh, oh, it's the sound of the beat. No, you're not. You're not allowed drugs. It's against the law, darling. The, they took my joint and it was less than a fucking joint. It was like the scrapes and it's still illegal. So, you know, if it's, if it's like that for me, it's like that for you, darling. You're not in America and you're not in the Canary Islands, darling. It's against the law. So there we go. And make sure you've got insurance this time, sweetheart. I'm sure you make enough money on TikTok to get a bit of insurance for that old beetle that you drive. <clears throat> Didn't even know about it. Never used to go on holiday. Used to sit there wearing Nike every day. Never even used to dress up until you met me, did you? Uh, never even went on holiday. Oh, yes. And then what did you do? Oh, let's copy Chelsea. Let's go to Future Ventura. Let's go where she goes. Because you're all copycats, darling. Root, darling. A bunch of copycats. The only reason you went to America is to try and get to me. But you'd never blow up in America because you're an absolute nobody. So there you go, sweetheart. And you was live streaming. And if you said that you went to America for leisure, well, why was you live streaming making money in America? That's against the law, darling. You have broke uh, American rules, darling. So you'll get in trouble for that because you was going there live streaming and making money yes or no this is your job yes or no so you was working in america darling so everyone reporter roots darling yes darling we'll have all the truth darling think you're scamming benefits you're doing this you're doing that what about that one you never thought about that one did you sweetheart thank you awfully grateful amanda darling i've just followed you amanda sweetheart Amanda, there was a bunch of trolls from that sister with that mouthy one from Manchester. And I looked through the whole list and blocked a lot of them. But I seen you in there and I did block you because at the time I didn't realise what maybe you were spying on it and finding out what was going on because you're, you're, Amanda's not stupid, is she? So sorry about that, Amanda, darling. The eyebrow blindness is so real. Oh, leave my eyebrows alone, darling. At least they're not coming like a ceasefire. Oh. Wilma, or a bushfire, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Wilma, thank you. Amanda, Amanda knows what time of day it is. Well, she's Scottish, isn't it? So, oh, you know, I love the Scottish. Shan B, Amanda was live. Oh, she was, darling. 
TikTok. Thank you, TikTok Music Man. Thank you, sweetheart. Just to let you know as well, I will follow back all my subscribers. So don't worry. We've got 1.1K subscribers. So I will follow all my subscribers and top gifters. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, I've got to be a bit more protective of myself on the app because they do mass report me, this and that. Um, so yeah, I just have to be a little bit careful, darling. Like I said to you, they even report shine like a star because they're so jealous that I shine like a star. Because you are, you are, you are. And I, oh yeah, I just posted that with Jacob Sanatorio as well. Remember good old Jacob? Um, but I had the one where he was actually singing Shine Like a Star. Um, let's have a look. I did put some of my um, other accounts on private, only so they can't keep mass reporting. Um, absolutely. But yes, check out my story. We love Jacob Sanatorio, absolutely, darling. Shine like a star. I always will, darling. No matter what these jealous haters say, darling. What do I do, talk? Kate Jade, thank you. I used to fancy who? Who are we on about now? Who's him? Who are you talking about him, darling? Don't get rude, darling. We love you. Thank you, darling. Any, does anyone know what's going on with Alpha Bar as well? Because I'm hearing so much crap going around all bullying alpha bar again it's not good you know guys and you really need to look into it and open your eyes what's going on uh when you're famous like me in alpha bar people will say anything they'll make all kinds of allegations up they'll say this they'll say that but at the same time you'll still post a picture with alpha bar when you've just met her because what you know, I think it's terrible what Alpha goes through. And that was the night when Alpha Bar came to me with Maria. After that Nicki Minaj thing, weren't it? Carrie and Amy, thank you, sweetheart. I'm definitely famous, darling. I've been arrested. I've not been charged, though. I wouldn't want a picture with him. The one you called... He has been arrested. Your doctor told you. Please ask Alexa about Southport. Southport 17 year old incident. What? What? What's this? Uh, the exposure. Fountain what? There's no fountains around here, sweetheart. They're outside, darling. A poor kid was... Oh... I'm from America and the Southport incident. Alexa, tell me about the Southport incident with a 17-year-old. I'm having trouble hearing. Can Alexa, say that again? tell me about the Southport incident with two kids. From metro.co.uk. The incident happened at the Southport Food and Drink Festival, which is taking place in the Merseyside Towns Victoria Park. Ask you if you want some of these. No way two children have died. Alexa, the latest news. Let's set your preferred news channel. You can choose from sources like BBC, Sky News, and LBC. What would you like to hear? Alexa, play the latest news. I don't have an extended news channel for that source. Alexa, the latest news today. BBC News. BBC or Sky News.
two children have died and nine other children have been injured, six critically, following a knife attack at a dance class in Southport on Merseyside. Two adults are also in a critical condition. The king has called the incident utterly horrific. The Prime Minister said the whole country was deeply shocked. A 17-year-old male suspect is in custody. Police say that they're not currently treating it as a terror incident. Joanne Neiman, an off-duty nurse, ran to the scene to try to help. I checked in on my girls and I just ran to the crowd because I just thought, you put your NHS head on, don't you? Um, and the mother that I was just consoling, just the look on her face because she knew something had happened to a child. It's like, oh my gosh, how do you even comprehend? There's nothing you can do. The former BBC presenter Hugh Edwards has been charged with three counts of making indecent images of children. The 62-year-old resigned from the BBC in April on medical advice. He's due to appear in court on Wednesday. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning has more details. He's accused of making 37 indecent images, 6 category A, that's the most extreme images, 12 category B and 19 category C images Absolutely between disgusting. December 2020 and April 2022. We learnt today, um, it's not clear why we're only learning this today, that he was actually arrested in last month. Cuts to winter fuel payments restricting the scheme to pensioners on pension credit or other means tested benefits. She told Parliament that she had to make urgent decisions because of the previous government's undisclosed overspending. Thousands of Venezuelans are heading towards the presidential palace in Caracas to protest against President Nicolas Maduro's claim of victory in the election. The BBC has also seen a military convoy with soldiers in balaclavas heading to the palace. Protests have erupted in the Venezuelan capital the day after Mr. Maduro claimed he had won. From Caracas, his... Oh, that's reporter... terrible. It doesn't really tell much de detail. So what's happened? A 17-year-old's gone there and done what? What did he do, though? Has he killed anyone? What, kids? Nah. Two children. Oh no, four and six years old. I don't understand, just, what the fuck, little kids, oh my god, that's a lot guys for me, that's a lot isn't it, he came over on a boat last year, walked into a dance class, He was only in the UK and came in a boat and was known to mental health services nearby. What the fuck? That's crazy, mate. He was known to the MI6. I suffer with mental health, but I'm not fucking nothing like that, darling. That's, you can't even blame mental health. You're an absolute sicko in the head, darling. There's no mental health fucking... Don't even try and blame mental health for this one, sweetheart. You've got to be an absolute sicko. An absolute sicko to do that to children.
That is just disgusting. I'm just gobsmacked, horrified. <sighs> Did that happen today? My lord. We just take a minute, guys. Can we just take a minute and just pray? Just take a minute and um, just pray for these kids, you know, uh, pray for the parents. The government have got to do something. They need to take knives off the streets, man. This is too much. No one should be walking around with weapons. A machete is still the same kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, you, London, you say, is for the worst. No, Scotland's bad for knife crime as well, sweetheart. But they just don't tell everyone, do they? What about Glasgow? You know, it's like the government want this to happen or something. Because surely, if you was a government, you would clearly do something about the issue, darling. There's other countries that would, so we're no different, darling. It's, I don't even want to live in this country no more. It's fucking scary, darling. Right, guys, I just have to show you something a minute. Guys, this account is exposing my address. This account. Police, if you're watching, this account is exposing my address. Social media, uh, they're exposing my address. Everyone report, report them for exposing my address. Go on, report, report. Send it to the police, guys. Send it to the police. Send it to the police. They're exposing my address. And they've got a thousand and some followers. Disgusting. What do you think people are going to do with my address? What, or what are you wanting to happen to me? Do you know how many people love me? I'd love you to come anywhere near me, sweetheart. My whole block will come for you.
Yeah, because this is what they do. And this has just happened since I've been talking about the evil one. So she probably is behind it. Notice when I was talking about that evil one, that's when this happened. On the phone to that Becca Boo, whatever she's called. We can all see what's happening. You're not that smart, sweetheart. reported it thank you guys <clears throat> they'll just check whose device it's come from yeah and you're gonna get arrested for trying to dox my address in front of three and point one thousand people reported it thank you darling they can track any ip address exactly at least i can sit here and say i've never done anything like that and feel quite confident that the police have got my phone to know the only thing i've done wrong is kick off a few times in public or you know or been intoxicated and lost my mind. Said things I didn't even know I was saying. You speak the truth, yeah, and the truth people don't like. They don't like the truth. You sit there every day and talk about me. This, you're so jealous. Oh, man, man. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of you, sweetheart. Coming like some washed out lollipop, sweetheart. So get yourself a pair of them truffle lolly uh, socks, darling. April, oh, thank you, darling. Can I have a look at my TikTok, lovely? I'm screen recording everything. <laughs> so I hope you're all, because uh, we see all the haters now and all the ones that are with me and all the ones that are against me. Let's go. And this is going straight to the Met Police, darling. So I'd get very affected, darling, if I was you. Police are watching everything, so carry on. You think they're just gonna allow keep people to keep wasting public service money? How many times? Doing this, doing that, nah, they've got to protect me, darling. It works both ways, darling. subscribers on now we've got all the evidence brilliant oh yes i thought the bloody thing weren't working 
But I've got to catch them. This is how you catch them. I, I'm smart. I'm like a detective as well, sweetheart. Thank you for extending your memberships. Thank you, everyone. I'll, I'll go and follow you back in a minute, everyone. Or maybe when I've ended the live, I'll do it because it's easier then. Thank you, Andrew, darling. Elfie, big love, sweetheart. I've got a moth. Oh, mate. Bastard, I got it. What's this? Uh, the exposer. Fountain what? There's no fountains around here, sweetheart. They're outside, darling. A poor kid was... Oh. I'm from America and the Southport incident. Alexa, tell me about the Southport incident with a 17-year-old. I'm having trouble hearing. Can Alexa, say that again? tell me about the Southport incident with two kids. From metro.co.uk. The incident happened at the Southport Food and Drink Festival, which is taking place in the Merseyside Towns Victoria Park. Ask you if you want some of No way, two children have died. Alexa, the latest news. Let's set your preferred news channel. You can choose from sources like BBC, Sky News, and LBC. What would you like to hear? Alexa, play the latest news. I don't have an extended news channel for that source. Alexa, the latest news today. BBC News. BBC or Sky News. Two children have died and nine other children have been injured, six critically, following a knife attack at a dance class in Southport on Merseyside. Two adults are also in a critical condition. The king has called the incident utterly horrific. The Prime Minister said the whole country was deeply shocked. A 17-year-old male suspect is in custody. Police say that they're not currently treating it as a terror incident. Joanne Neiman, an off-duty nurse, ran to the scene to try to help. I checked in on my girls and I just ran to the crowd because I just thought, you put your NHS head on, don't you? Um, and the mother that I was just consoling, just the look on her face because she knew something had happened to a child. It's like, oh my gosh, how do you even comprehend? There's nothing you can do. The former BBC presenter Hugh Edwards has been charged with three counts of making indecent images of children. The 62-year-old resigned from the BBC in April on medical advice. He's due to appear in court on Wednesday. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning has more details. He's accused of making 37 indecent images, 6 category A, that's the most extreme images, 12 category B and 19 category C Absolutely images between disgusting. December 2020 and April 2022. We learnt today, um, it's not clear why we're only learning this today, that he was actually arrested in 
last month. Cuts to winter fuel payments restricting the scheme to pensioners on pension credit or other means-tested benefits. She told Parliament that she had to make urgent decisions because of the previous government's undisclosed overspending. Thousands of Venezuelans are heading towards the presidential palace in Caracas to protest against President Nicolas Maduro's claim of victory in the election. The BBC has also seen an armed military convoy with soldiers in balaclavas heading to the palace. Protests have erupted in the Venezuelan capital the day after Mr. Maduro claimed he had won. From Caracas, his... Oh, that's terrible. It doesn't really tell much de detail. So what's happened? A 17-year-old's gone there and done what? What did he do, though? Has he killed anyone? What, kids? Nah. Two children. Oh, no, four and six years old. I don't understand. Just what the fuck? Little kids. Oh my god. That's a lot, guys, for me. That's a lot, isn't it? He came over on a boat last year. Walked into a dance class. He was only in the UK and came in a bomb and was known to mental health services nearby. What the fuck? That's crazy, mate. He was known to the MI6. I suffer with mental health, but I'm not fucking nothing like that, darling. That's, you can't even blame mental health. You're an absolute sicko in the head, darling. There's no mental health fucking... Don't even try and blame mental health for this one, sweetheart. You've got to be an absolute sicko. An absolute sicko to do that to children. That is just disgusting. I'm just gobsmacked, horrified. <sighs> Did that happen today? My Lord. We just take a minute, guys. Can we just take a minute and just pray? Just take a minute and um, just pray for these kids, you know, uh, pray for the parents.
The government have got to do something. They need to take knives off the streets, man. This is too much. No one should be walking around with weapons. A machete is still the same kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, you, London, you say, is for the worst. No, Scotland's bad for knife crime as well, sweetheart. But they just don't tell everyone, do they? What about Glasgow? The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.